Hello folks, this is Sula once again. Welcome back to what I believe is part 6 of our playthrough for Civilization 4. We are using Hammurabi of Babylon here, and we are playing Always War Monarch against 6 opponents. We managed to capture our first foreign city right at the end of last turn, and we're actually in a little bit of a race in order to try and take the Indian capital down here at Delhi before India manages to get up to feudalism and has longbows. So note all the units are damaged from fighting. Uh, I have to hope that there are not a whole bunch of units that are going to attack this city that we just captured, Bombay. I have to hope that there's not a lot of units about to attack this city. Uh, we'll see. I only need about two turns to heal this up. And I've got a catapult moving down. Yeah, here's a catapult right here. We've got a only need a couple turns to move up these cats, and then we're going to go straight for Delhi. And hopefully be able to take that one out. So we'll see. But the pressure is on to get this city quickly before more advanced enemy units show up, like horse archers or maces. I don't think anyone has the text for maces, but horse archers are on the horizon for sure. Yeah, like, um, Willem can research civil service. Now, yeah, he can research civil service and machinery, so he's not too far from maces. So there, again, there's some pressure to get up to more advanced units soon. And I think Frederick can actually research horse archers already. So yeah, I have to get up to higher tier units. And I and the best way to do that is to take out Delhi and take this city out quickly. Um, so anyway, let's cross our fingers that there's not some huge attacking coming on the inner turn. Okay, not seeing anything, except the settler moving around. Yet another Indian settler moving out. All right, so... Yeah, nothing there, so that's good. We're stacking bowmen in preparation for a revolt into um, civil service. Okay, over here, I said I'm trying to push my lines forward to this tile here. We've got a settler coming out, so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Road that tile. So we didn't get attacked, that's good. I'll move up the workers onto this tile. They're going to road that next turn. So we'll move this guy up here. Move this unit into the city. And hopefully there's not a big attack about to slip through over here. But even if there are a couple units incoming over there, I think we'll be okay. So there's an Indian city on this tile. And there's an Indian city here. And they've they actually put walls up in this city. There's walls up in this city too. Not in the capital just yet. We'll see. Um, I'll have to bombard them down in any case. Okay, so heal. You heal. You heal. This guy, look at this, this guy only needs two turns to heal, even though he's almost dead. Medic units are, medic three units are really awesome. Keep healing. So all these guys will be full health. And I'll move up the cats into a safer position. Let's see, this guy. Promote him on the city raider line. Go ahead and heal. This guy can stay here and guard this tile. Do I have spears in here? Uh, yeah, but only one. Um, I guess we'll keep him on this tile for another turn. Okay. Keep moving up this guy. What were these guys going to do? Oh, yes, I wanted to shift uh, these two workers over here because there's a lot of tiles that need to be improved over there. So let's see if we can do that. If we move here... Mark, they move here, then they'd be able to move yeah, onto these forests after that. Okay, so we got to clear out these forests. Move these guys up, even though they waste a worker turn moving. It's okay. This guy can just chill over here for the moment. He's a very necessary military police unit. Note that the city needs that military police. And when this mine's done, I can pick up that mine tile. Okay, and here comes another catapult over. Good stuff. I need to road this wheat tile because my cities are starting to get unhealthy. So I'm going to look to do that. Alright, we finished a cottage tile here. Let's see if we can shift around some tiles to make use of that. This city doesn't need any more food. Uh, let's see. So, mm, I guess that's okay for right now. Yeah, I've already got all the borrowed cottages working at the capital, which is what I want. Okay. This city needs, yeah, just about to come off its whipping penalty. That's fine. So that's... I'll be able to whip something else out here. 
catapult's only a one pop whip. I'd prefer to get two pops out of something. Maybe I'll double whip um, a missionary or something, or a horse archer perhaps. We'll see. Something though. I'm not sure that I need the market. Well, we'll get something out of that city. What's this one working? Go with that tile for now because can't grow too much. Well, I guess it's got another two sizes still to go. So we can keep the higher food tile. Uh, this city's about to grow into unhappiness. Yes, so I guess we'll work towards, put something towards a worker here. Certainly can use a worker. And this city, yeah, it's about to finish the barracks. What I wouldn't give for nationhood just for the happiness right now. All right. Uh, and yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we did get into, did get into, uh, did finish that tech, but oh, yeah. and that was what I was worried about, that a big stack would just appear out of nowhere while my army's off fighting elsewhere. Okay. Well, I foresee some whipping coming up. <laughs> foresee some whipping coming up down there. Got a barracks done. Let's see, is there any infrastructure I really need? I guess I could build the Colossus, but I'm not sure I can afford that luxury. Maybe the courthouse. Two million. Well, it's going to be less than that if I can't deal with this. Sword, 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 chariot, two spears. Oh, wait. Uh, and they can move next to Sipar next turn. That is not good. That is not good. I do not have units in position to defend against this. They were on this tile last turn. Yikes, just outside my vision range. Uh, if they were here, I'd have much more time to deal with this, but I do not. Okay, well, we are gonna have to get axes out immediately. And I'm not sure that I can even, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna have to two pop with this. Unfortunately, this this unit just got shifted over, away from the city. Uh, okay. Have to race some units down here. Well, move the bowmen down here. Uh, we'll have to whip this axe at the swapping penalty, unfortunately. But there's no choice. We are going to have to try to save this city, if at all possible. Yeah, so we... Lost out on some production there because we had to whip at the swapping penalty. But as I said, there's not too much we can do about that. Okay, cancel that. Chop this forest. We can get another unit from chopping that forest next turn. Move the cat down. If nothing else, it's another unit to sit in the city. Let's see, do I have any two movers that can get over there? Uh, the chariot over here is highly beat up, so that's not going to be that helpful. Uh, let's see. These units are like a turn away from being able to get into that city. But we'll move a couple down in any case. One advantage of a chariot is they do move a lot faster, so we can move chariots in that direction, even if the other units can't make it. Any more chariots? No. Okay. Um, we might as well move this guy over too even though it'll make the city unhappy. That's the least of our concerns right now. What else do I have that can move over there? Anything on this tile? No, not really. I can move Timo over there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is the one thing. When I move my forces forward like that, it means that I'm inherently vulnerable over here. Like, this was the one real problem. 
Uh, I probably needed to have a unit on this tile so I could see and I could spot units incoming. Alrighty, let's see, so the workers have built a road, we need to continue to cover this tile. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah the, the medic spearman can't get over there even if he had wanted to and that chariot is heavily damaged. Okay, so not much to be done. We're going to have to defend inside the city, obviously, and hope that we can just hold out inside the city. Go ahead and give him defensive pro promotion. Well, we'll see. We'll need a little bit of luck to survive because this stack has three swords, all with city raider, and that means they're good at city attack, if nothing else. We'll see. Could be rough, though. Might not necessarily, might end up losing that city, unfortunately. Um, I needed about one or two more turns. Needed them not to pull a huge stack out of the fog on that particular turn. Also, I obviously can't revolt into civil service this turn because I need units to finish producing over there. And we're moving this guy forward. Uh, so, actually with so many units shifting down to the south, now I'm not at all sure that I'll be able to plant the city over here. That could, uh, could be a little bit disastrous doing so. So, I think for the moment we'll have to have this settler chill, even though that's not the most efficient use of a settler. Um, but yeah, just because... I don't feel safe moving forward with so many units having to get diverted down to the south. Okay, well anyway, the capital continues to grow and we'll be able to revolt soonish into bureaucracy once I can uh, safely do so. Okay, you guys chill here for a second. We still do need to push on to Delhi quickly. In the meantime, I guess we'll road this tile too. You guys will push forward next turn. Alright. Oh, hello. And then they all just shifted and moved in the other direction. Okay, well that buys me time, and that's what I need. I need time. Okay, well that was pretty good. Uh, note that the scout does not count as a defensive unit for... Um, hereditary rule purposes. Where did the forest grow? That tile? That's actually not a great tile for the forest to grow on. Okay, well, as I said, that buys me time, and that's the thing I needed most here, was I needed time to shift units around. Okay. So this, is a, this stack is very vulnerable to axes, is the thing. Very vulnerable to axes. So if I can get some axes out, get an axe here and we should have enough to overflow into yet another axe the turn following um, and I definitely need a, a unit in here of some kind drop that worker and just finish the spear so we can get a defensive so we can get a unit in here what else what else so yeah okay so we've got an axe here Bowman. All right, we're in less of a panic mode now, so I can move this guy back into the city. I'll continue moving this axe down, but I'll move the spear back, back in this direction. This city is really, really needs happy resources. Even with all these units in the city, it's still unhappy. Heesh. And that's with no whip penalty either. Boy, <laughs> size 10. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we got to whip some of the pop away, don't we? Let's just do a big market whip. That'll cut through um, quite a bit of population. <laughs> I 
I can't get over how unhappy these cities are. Okay, well, we're moving forward to try and plant with that settler soonish. Whip your way into happiness. <clears throat> okay, so we'll continue moving forward here. So we're going to move forward here. There's like these random Indian units trickling around down here. But I don't quite have the resources to take them out. Alright, anyway. So, push forward here. And we want the chariots, of course, or the catapults, of course. Move them forward. Fortunately, we have a nice defensive cover path right down into the into that area. Uh, so I'll need to keep a unit or two in here on defense. Maybe one axe and one spear. It won't stand up against a determined attack, but the chariot. This unit is annoying. <laughs> There are there chariots in here or just one chariot? Okay. Still, I have to be a little bit careful. Do I have a free spear over here? No, I do not. Okay. So I'll keep these guys in here. Yeah, for all that I need, I need axes. I do always need spears to accompany them as well. That one chariot makes defending against this stack uh, actually surprisingly more difficult. Anyway, though, um, looks like we've gotten past the what was looking like disaster there a minute ago, just because the AI moved in a much less dangerous way than it could have. I'm also amused at how these cities like constantly jock, jump back and forth between being happiness, being happy, and being like totally unhappy, depending on uh, the situation, um, depending on whether units move into them or not. Now we can't end our turn there. That would be way too risky. We'll end it up there instead. Here's our other medic unit. The three moves let it shift around quickly from place to place. All right, this city now, this poor, this poor sap of a city. <laughs> uh, unhappy, starving, <laughs> because of all the units we've moved out of it. Look at that, three, three unhappy faces. Ten, uh, unfortunately, the thing is, I just can't keep it at, at size 10. It's way too large. It doesn't have an, nearly enough units uh, to do that. Not nearly enough. And I can't revolt this turn either because I still need to produce these spears and axes down here. Okay. Still giving me more time to react and prepare. Okay, that was random. It's like my archer should win this. Oh, he retreated. Oh, we finally lost that archer who had been with us for so, so very long. Oh well. <laughs> Finally lost that guy. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, what are we looking for? What are we looking to get here? Do I want to keep this at size 12 or do I need to go one more size? I need to go to 13, I think, so I can work all these tiles and then the two hills. So, one more bowman. One more. 
Alrighty, well, we can kill this unit. We should be able to. This city also came out of resistance for the first time. And uh, my poor archer who gave us vision for so, so very long. Alrighty, so how can we kill this guy? Do we have a chariot unit on this tile? We have a chariot here that can kill him. Unfortunately, whatever unit hits this guy is going to be exposed to counterattack. That said, we should, should go ahead and kill this guy anyway. Well, actually, that's okay. I can move the stack onto this tile and then move southeast. So we'll take the free experience point. So we'll just move the stack onto this tile and then move southeast, even though it's a little bit awkward to do so. Okay. This is actually not that big of an attack force, in all honesty. You come down here with these guys. And where's my spear? Super spear can come down too. Yeah, these guys are actually a bit exposed here. Uh, what I have more important to get is some kind of unit. We really could use more units in here. Even just a bowman for defense would be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to try to chop this forest and get that. I don't think that there are any units that can run around and reach these workers. I hope not. Okay, so now we're going to get another axe. Uh, 33. Can I squeeze this guy out? Should be able to. There we go. Now the axe is doing one turn. Perfect. And also, the city really can't grow any further. Okay. We might as well road this tile while we're here. So I could use a road on that tile. As for you, I need more tiles for this city, which is working two unimproved tiles. That's not good. We'll road this and then cottage it. Okay. So you come on over. Let's see, can I kill this chariot? Uh, yes, I think I can. Well, do I have a chariot in this city? I do, but he's my medic, and I'm not risking him at 68% odds. That's not good enough. Uh, I can kill this with a spear, but then they're just going to clean up with their units, and I don't trade. I can't. I'm not in a position where I can really trade one unit for one unit right now. So. Time to start shifting units over here to deal with that stack when it comes out. Alrighty, and we're, so we're gonna have to cover this right here with the spear. Because otherwise, their chariot can just move and hit the axe, the axes. I don't expect that to happen, but it could could take place. What is this city looking like? We probably need to get some axes out of this one, too. Unfortunately, this chariot cannot get to the front lines. It's kind of stranded back here. Can you just hang out in here? Yeah, let's swap to an axe here. Oh, we got too much overflow. We got to kill the overflow into the forge so we can do the double axe whip. I'm actually a little bit worried about this group too. I don't. Ha I really need more units over here as well. Anyway, let's get that market out of the way, so that the city is not a goes back to being at least happy neutral from that. Go back to working some of its better tiles, or at least not just have a waste of uh, waste of population. So do the market, and up here, this is working most of the good tiles as well. Got getting a missionary for that city. Now we want to get a cottage here. This city is still at the happiness cap, <laughs> despite all that. And we've actually got a ton of overflow. Well, I can put that into maybe another axe. For the turn into chopping. Yeah, this is pretty risky, moving a city 
over here. Wait, wait a minute. No, I said I wanted the found on this tile. Whoops, there was no reason to chop that tile then. Okay. I really hope there's not a chariot right there. <laughs> Come out and kill a worker and a settler. Be very wasteful. Uh, and again, would like to revolt, but I kind of need, kind of want to finish that axe before revolting into bureaucracy. Oh, where are those units going? Oh, and we saw our first catapult. Well, that is basically suicide by the Indian uh, catapult or chariot. Actually, they got a retreat. Okay. Largest, I am second in land area. I said Willem is definitely doing the best amongst the AI leaders, which is not really a surprise considering Willem tends to do well. Uh, there's a catapult just sitting here exposed. I wonder why I don't get better odds on this. Oh, it's horse archers that flank uh, catapults, not um, not chariots. Okay. All right, we'll split the stack. Let's scout first. What are we looking at here? Uh, wow, not too bad. Not as bad as I'd feared in any case. It's mostly chariots again, and chariots don't get defensive bonuses. So that, you know, could have been a lot worse. We do have this stack coming in, and I don't know what they're doing. So we better do some we better go in go in and go in hard <laughs> right away before that stack arrives. Okay, so they got the retreat there. That means that that's a free kill, a free promotion. This is also a dead unit here with our spear. I'm attacking across the river, which is a 25% penalty, but still relatively relatively minor. Okay, so that's an easy kill. Uh, I got free XP on any unit that wants it there. Let's see. Where do I want to get experience? Let's see. Well, the axe can get a second promotion if I hit with the axe. That's probably the most valuable thing to do. Get it up to 5 XP and a second prom uh, Well, actually a third promotion. Yeah, so that's a free kill as well. And then these guys keep shifting over in this direction. I can't wait to get to engineering and the extra road movement. All right, so let's throw, toss down the city. And indeed, there are units incoming. Shushan. Sword, Immortal Spear. So we can't... Excuse me, I was going to say we can't um, improve the cattle tile just yet. Okay, so you come here. You come here. We'll just defend in the city for right now. Or wait, no, there's an immortal right there, so we gotta cover the workers. Although the immortal could also attack the city and get the bonus against axes. Yeah, that's actually not good at all. We need to get this other spear up here immediately, even if it makes that city unhappy. And we gotta do the same thing here. We gotta move up our axes, because they're gonna be needed, even if it makes these cities unhappy. If anything, I'm probably a little slow in getting them over there. Nipper is building the Confucian Missionary for that other city. That's good. And then we got to whip something out. We'll probably whip out a marketplace. Do the same thing that we just did at that other city. All right, so the forest chop finishes the bowman. Next, let's get a road on this tile. And this guy, yeah, I said I was going to build another cottage for Mari. And let's send this guy over to the front lines. Don't worry, the worker is protected. He's got Timo protecting him. And let's see, over here, there are a lot of overflow from this. Nope, no overflow at all. Okay, so that's fine. Now we'll just build the courthouse. Okay, so we managed to get past that little situation that looked like a total disaster. This city's unhappy, of course. What's What, what a surprise, right? Every city's unhappy. <laughs> so, are we in a position where we can revolt? I think that we can survive a revolt turn. We don't have anything crucial coming out, so revolt into bureaucracy. 
Oh, they're just going to attack me straight up on this tile where I get full defensive bonus. They're getting a lot of withdrawals with their uh, chariots here. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Okay, so the, the capital, and we're now out of anarchy, the capital is in bureaucracy, which means we get the bonus production, we get the bonus commerce too. So we got this Bowman, then we need to get infrastructure in here. We need to build a forge and a market, and then maybe we can start doing some units after that. But note that our, our income did go up by quite a bit. I'm break-even at exactly 50% right now. Okay, so we need a couple more turns of income to get machinery. Okay, so what are we looking at here in Delhi? We've got three archers, and that's pretty much it. It's just three archers is the thing. So let's not bother about bombarding down the defenses. What we really need is to get hits on those catapult uh, hits on those archers. And the longer we the longer we wait to attack Delhi, the worse our situation will be because the AI will reinforce this city. Like the AI will pour in, uh, will whip out and pour in more defenses. So the best thing to do is actually to go in immediately and take this city right away. So we're going to use we're going to sacrifice the two catapults to get collateral damage, and hopefully injure this archer. Although, apparently, we're not doing any damage to the top archer. That's a bit unlucky. We didn't get even one hit on that archer. Uh, let's check the combat log. Yep. See, I didn't get even one hit on the archer. And that's unlu unlucky. At 3% odds, I should get at least one hit on the archer. But we didn't. So, it's the exact same combat odds again. 3%. This time, we got a hit on the archer. Actually, we got two hits on the archer. As you can see from the animation. So, we lost both catapults. But we... Have, we have redlined one archer. See the archer is 0 0.9 out of 3. So that unit's effectively eliminated. We don't have to worry about that archer anymore. It's effectively dead for our intents and purposes. Now we've really got one archer that's really dangerous. It's got the um, city garrison 2. And then we've got one at 2.3, which will be a little bit tough to clear. So we're going to use our best odds one, which is city raider. It's still probably going to die. Uh, I do have a promotion on this guy I can use. 20, let, let's use this because this unit's much less valuable. 28% odds. So we will lose this guy in all likelihood. But we will do more damage. Again, that's why I wish the catapult had done more damage initially. Now we've got 61% odds. So cross our fingers and hope we win at 61%. I don't believe we did so, though. Oh, yes, we did. Okay. I always try, I try to guess with the animations, but... Uh, that one threw me off. Okay, so now we really have one unit to kill, this archer. 62% odds. It's probably the best we're going to do. Yeah, 62 is the best we're going to do. So slightly more than 50-50. As long as we deal damage, that's the main thing. Even if we die, we, as long as we redline the unit. Yep, so we've redlined the unit. Now it's easy to take the city. Oh, actually, I probably should have used the combat 3 one. Oh, well. So, 97. Now there's just a spear and a red-lined archer. So, 99%. And a chariot, and that's it. So we'll use the 99.9 .9 to clear this guy. The Warlords always get so excited when they're attacking. Okay, so there we go. We've managed to take Delhi. That culture is a bug. That culture will disappear. Note that there's Indian culture up here. That actually will disappear. Uh, it's a well-known bug. It's been around for ages. So note how valuable this city is. Two, double Shrine. It came with a monument. Oh, it came with a monument because we have Stonehenge. So that's really nice. Now we have Stonehenge working in our favor. And we're going to have to try and defend this city. So yes, we do obviously want to keep this. And the question is now, can we hold this city is really, really the thing. Because remember, those, that big Dutch stack is like right here. So uh, the good news is <clears throat> I can move on these roads. And uh, another nice thing is now we have one full... Um, note that there's like a full ring of culture around Bombay. So that means it's much harder for the AI to attack this city. And we're getting a bowman in to defend it, so that's good. Um, yeah, so now we just move our units up as quickly as possible. 
Is there a way that I can kill that chariot? Do I have a two move unit that can kill that? Yes, my ch this chariot can kill that. So let's clear the board of this unit. I would say I had average combat luck in that particular um, sequence there. I would say average, not especially great or especially terrible. I'm surprised that there weren't more archers in that city though. Okay, so we need some defenders in here. And then we need to uh, shift an axe down here as well. Let's do that, shall we? Road this. Let's see, where else do I need to clear out stuff? Um, I'd love to chop that forest, but I don't think it's safe to chop that yet. Not with this still in their borders. Uh, so. Hmm. Maybe road this, maybe work on roading this tile. Yeah, and you guys keep moving over towards um, the front lines. Road. Oh wow, if I had known that, uh, I wish I had known that was only a one turn road. Oh shoot, there's an arch, an enemy arch. I thought this was one of my guys because it looked, the color looks so similar. Ugh, that's irritating. Okay, cover with this guy then. Yikes, I thought that was one of, uh, I thought that was one of my units. I mean the color is almost identical. <laughs> okay. Anyway, is there anyone healing here? No, not really. So I will go ahead and take the super, super medic back to back towards the other front lines because I'm sure I will have need of it back there soon. And yes, three movement is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so these guys, yes, you guys keep moving up. I'm gonna need you on the front lines. All right, and then we still have the situation over here to deal with. Well, this is a fairly simple, fairly simple situation. We're just gonna defend the city is the main thing. And we're just going to retreat backwards for the moment. Remember, the Immortal can hit... In, if, this, if the uh, Immortal wasn't here, this would be a lot simpler, but the Immortal can hit in a lot of directions. Uh, it can't hit this tile, though, so we'll go ahead and road this. Just to be doing something this turn. There's that extra cottage. Not sure that we need it just yet, though. Uh, so we're going to whip out the market here to deal with a huge happiness crunch that this city has. Uh, help is on the way, though. We will be able to connect. Um, we'll be able to connect spices, and I'm going to go for calendar next after machinery. So we will be able to connect spices and get some happiness going. And uh, we're not too far from this gold tile either, so that's a plus. So we will have some happiness finally coming in soonish. Um, if, if I can hold the city of Delhi, I think I will be in reasonably good shape. Um, you'll also see these buggy cultural borders disappear, uh, in a turn or so. Okay, what else? Uh, road this tile, and then we want to go and chop these forests in case something would pop up. Okay. How many turns is machinery? Four turns? Actually, I'm, pr actually, I'm pretty close to being able to finish it right now. Let's just see how close we can get. Oh, okay, so they all moved up there. Oh, oh, that's not where I was expecting those units to go. Okay. I got a catapult in here. Can we overflow into anything particularly useful here? Nope. Oh, we can pop out another axe. That's always useful. Mark it. Uh, this city may be in a smidgen of trouble. That stack kind of came out of nowhere. Well, okay, so here's the good news. This stack is on flat ground, so it has no defensive bonuses. Somebody just built the Colossus. Note that the culture bug has resolved itself. Um, so we may be able to do something against this stack, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I do have more units coming in. If they, Even if they take the city, I can probably take it back because I have a lot of reinforcements moving, moving in. Uh, I don't really care if, if they would take and raise Bombay. I, obviously, I'd prefer to hold it, but there's not much in the way of infrastructure here. The more important thing is holding Delhi. 
which unfortunately has five more turns to come out of resistance. Uh, let's see. So what do we have here? A cat. We have the three swords. That we actually want to attack this stack um, on the offensive if we can, because the swords have City Raider promotion. Yeah, the swords have City Raider, so we're actually better off fighting these guys not in the in the city. Well, what I can do is, uh, let's see, did I have a, I thought, yeah, I was going to say, I think I have a catapult. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit their stack with my catapult, do bonus collateral damage, and just collateral their stack. I even have a 30, 40% odds to not die in this battle. I mean, I probably will, but hey, it's a shot. Hey, we actually, no, I was going to say, I thought we retreated for a second, but we didn't. Okay, so that'll damage all the units in the stack and cleared one of those spears, or one of those swords pretty pretty well so we'll promote this guy see if we can take this out come on don't lose to a freaking catapult <laughs> okay so we we cleared that unit uh and wow it didn't take much damage either that's a good sign so now we have uh sword spears and so once again by far the best unit to attack is an axe i'd like to be in the city and then attack out but i can't do that so i'll do the next best thing move here and then attack. Do get 95%. Now, the reason why I attack from that tile, let me turn off the resource indicator. If I attack from this tile, I'm on the forest afterwards. So uh, if they try to attack this axe, he's in the forest and he gets the 50% defensive bonus. Okay. Similar story here. I can't move into the city. What I can do is I can move onto this where I'm still in the forest and then attack their stack. 97% odds. Then if they attack me, counterattack, I'm in the forest and get the big defensive bonus again. So there we go. Now we've just got a spear and then two and then an injured sword and then a full health sword. This guy is way too beat up though. He has to heal. That guy can't do anything, unfortunately. Much as I'd like to. Uh, note that they really have very little odds to take the city now. We've done a good job of clearing out enough units that they probably can't take the city. Uh, I do have a chariot, but we'll die to the spear if I attack, so that's no good. Let's see, other units around here that can attack. What else do I have in this city? I have a spear and a bowman. Well, the spear actually gets 68% odds, but I think I will just hold him on defense. Those odds are not quite good enough for me. Keep moving these guys up. They can't quite make it into the city, but they can get close. Uh, this archer's on a hill. We'll kill him if he comes down off the hill. Don't care too much about him as long as he's up there. I need to get a unit on this hill too, to, just to see what is out there. Uh, and of course I need to go for this city too, but um, with the hill, with the, being on a hill and with having walls, that's not going to happen until I get more cats. I will need to bombard down the city defenses, and that's going to take a while. Um... Yeah, so this will be the, this will be the next target, and I really need to set up shop. Maybe need a, a unit, a defensive unit, like on this hill tile here, um, where I'll be just have vision basically. A unit up here that has vision would be nice. I actually need to promote. Need to get a promote a catapult or, or a chariot, excuse me, um, along the sentry line, because the lack of vision has been hurting me. Okay, so there are three units in this city and three units that can attack. So if I put Timo in this city, they cannot take the city because they only have three units that can attack and there's four defenders. Neat little trick there. You can even use, you can use scouts for that. And they can in fact um, make it so you a city can't be taken. Okay. Uh, alrighty, so what are we looking to do here? This city just, no actually it didn't just whip. Okay. Let's, uh, it'll go to the happy cap then we'll whip the forge. We'll go with that. This city did just whip though, yeah. Or recently whipped, anyway. 74% odd odds are not good enough. Here's what we'll do. We'll move these guys up. We'll have this guy cover the hill, and we'll see if we can bait him into moving on to the flat ground. Meanwhile, the worker... Um, come over here and do some kind of worker thing. Actually, let's... This is almost done, right? We'll finish that. Okay, so, Babylon... Working all the hill tiles? Yes. Yes. Pretty good. I need to mine this hill tile. Okay. I'll have this worker come over here and mine this hill. 
Note that we're now getting 14 production. Let's see, with the 75% bonus, that's, uh, what about, 22, 23? And it's got bonus production this turn. So that, this board will get knocked out pretty fast. Uh, and I will need more catapults at some point. Can I move into the city? Wow. A lot of movement there. Wait, are these guys fortifying on this tile? Because they didn't move from last turn. Yeesh. 50%. Ugh. Yeah, these guys um, have had this tendency to like sit in the forest and just fortify. Well, once these guys get here, I'll see what I can do to clean them out. You cover this forest, and then you chop. Oh, there we go. Finished. You can move here and do something similar. Note that the borders are slowly beginning to expand just because I have Stonehenge now, which is really cool. Captured the wonder. And then I'll double that rate of border expansion with this missionary next turn. Alrighty. There we go. And this city is going to need to whip its forge soon. Start another cottage. Uh, let's see. Oh, see, this guy could hit the stack, but I don't really want to do that. I need to have some defenders in this city in case it would come under attack. Uh, let's see. The chariot. What else is on here? A spear. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll move the spear in here to defend, and then we'll move... Let's see. Is there anyone actively healing in here? Yes. Okay, so we'll keep this guy in here for now. But we'll move the chariot up to this tile, just so there's yet another defender in the city. And I'll go ahead and promote him, in case he would attack, in case he would see combat. Okay. So, I only have one catapult, unfortunately, because the catapults do have this tendency to die, if you've noticed that. Uh, I also, actually, I should not ship this many units up here. I need to keep some units over here in case something comes rushing at Sipar again. So these guys, I actually should keep back around Sipar. Uh, again, I'm dealing with a huge defensive front, like this big arc. I can make it much easier to defend if I can take territory over here. Or if I even throw down a city here. It wouldn't have any food bonuses, but that might not matter might be more important just to control territory. So maybe I'll have to do that. Maybe, we'll see. And this city gets whipped next turn. Okay. Oh, and they're apparently... Okay, apparently they're going to put down a city here. Well, we'll see. Um, let's see. This city actually has really good infrastructure. Look at all the stuff I've got here. Um... I guess I'll build a catapult in the meantime. Got another border expansion. Yeah, they actually... Oh, we got a free spread of... Oh, wow, we just got a free spread of Confucianism in that city. Cool. Well, in that case, I'll send the missionary over here. Go spread it in one of these cities I just captured. Cool. Yeah, these guys... So these guys are just trying to, like, set up on the forest tile. So, uh, we're gonna have to try and dig them out. Oh, that really sucks. That was a very highly promoted unit. This is what happens when they get defensive cover. But the longer they sit there, the worse it's going to get. Yeah. The longer they sat there, the worse it was going to get, though. Because they're going to be building up a fortification bonus. So, uh, we still come out ahead in the trade, assuming that I don't lose at 99% odds. But it could have been a lot better. Alright. And now you see... Why we gotta get over here and chop this forest before we do anything else. And then we're gonna have to chop that forest after that. Oh well, nothing to be done. Gonna take some losses, unfortunately, anytime you fight. Um, I probably only need one guy down here. Move this guy up towards the front lines. that. <laughs> chop. Come over here and chop this. Uh, while I'm up there, whip this city. There we go. Um, 
regrow that pop well actually there's no real reason to regrow that pop point because I can't sustain another level of happiness anyway <laughs> amazing that my cities are still can only get to like size 5 or so it's really amazing that this late in the game I don't have a happiness resource okay anyway these units are wildly exposed to attack they are caught out in the middle of nowhere um, oh this is all chariots me likey when I see all chariots. I know that this guy's not even full strength, but I can't take can't pass up an opportunity that good to get those kind of odds on a chariot. It's a combat two chariot. Seventy nine percent odds. Do I have any more spears up here? No, I actually do not have any more spears. Oh well. Come on, come on. Yay, there we go. Okay, so we killed that guy without too much trouble. Yeah, these guys, I, I, I shifted a, a few too many units over here. I can't send, like, every unit over there. Let's bring a spear back. Because I do have more spears down here. Yeah, I've got more spears down here. Yeah, so we'll bring one spear back. And we got to keep some units over here. This city is ripe to whip its forge, yes, yes, there we go. Okay, so we'll whip the forge, and maybe we will, do we get much overflow from that? Not much, maybe we'll get a spear from that as well. Okay, so we have managed to secure these cities, which is what we're looking for, very good. That worker is exposed, unfortunately, uh, and I can't cover him with an axe either, because axes lose against chariots. All right, so keep this guy here. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately can't clear that tile this turn. Um, let's see, what can I do? can come down and try to get this tile, though. I also need to put a unit on this tile here, so what, let's see. Uh, use my chariot. To, well, actually, let's not go from there just yet. we got to clear this little group here, um, which should be easy to do. We can use axes to do that. This guy's not quite... Do we have any full strength axes? Yes, one of them. This guy, specifically. Would love to kill and get another experience point. We're getting close to combat 4 on this guy. Nice. Yeah, he didn't even take any damage doing that. Then we got a spear and a red line sword. Okay. 99%. We go and now we'll use the chariot to kill that guy because that way I can move the chariot again afterwards off that tile that's a very exposed tile so we can move the chariot into the city perfect okay all right so Timo you stay there you guys well actually Timo, you can perform a useful function to me. Move on to this tile and see if we spot anything. Don't see anything incoming just yet. Yeah, nothing in the area just yet. So back we go. Okay, you guys come down here. And this guy. I guess should move into the city to heal there, so we'll heal faster. This guy, heal up to full. Down here, these guys are okay. And then these units in here will be healing. Yeah, these guys will all be healing with the Great General. And yeah, we'll next be looking to move on this city. We just got to clear out these forests in the area first. Uh, it would be nice when Delhi's borders pop too, because Delhi's borders will give me control over all these tiles that are not within Indian culture. actually go to Borsippa. Well, it's actually probably more important to clear this, this forest first, so that enemy units can't move into that tile and have defensive protection. Yeah, they're probably going to plant a city here. Oh well. And I might as well get rid of that uh, X on the ground, because I no longer need it. Okay, we whip the market, we whip the forge, this city, 
is off of its uh, whip unhappiness. So let's grow this and then whip the forge and then it can overflow into something. Should have done that sooner. This city also is out of its whip unhappiness. So let's do something here. I guess we'll finish the courthouse and then whip something. Maybe a market, perhaps. Yeah, we actually have pretty good infrastructure in a lot of these cities. And this city will whip that forge soonish. Yeah, so you know what? We're actually in pretty good shape, all things considered. Um, this is actually going better than I was uh, had thought it would. Yeah, so GMP's looking good. Food, we're right there with the leader. Soldiers, we're right there with the leader. And, um, you know, we're taking territory. We're gaining ground and expanding, and that's a good sign. Of course, the AIs are also expanding, but still a good sign. And we're going to have maces soon, and we may even have a happiness resource to connect soon, too. I mean, that would just be like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I'll get it, Opus. We'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll double whip a worker here, and then we'll overflow into that courthouse. I can use some. I, I'm running a little low on workers as I continue to take more territory. Oh, hello. That's a pretty sizable force. That was not a good decision. Well, I guess it was. I thought for sure he would die attacking a spear in that situation, but uh, apparently it worked out. Okay, what are we looking for? A missionary? Probably a courthouse. They're very cheap because of their cheapness. Forge. I think I had said I wanted another spear up here. So how many units are incoming here? Uh, a lot. <laughs> the answer is a lot, unfortunately. Um, but they have a, they're going to take another turn to move. Unf no, I'm sure that they'll move onto this tile. Actually, if they're smart, they'll move here, but they probably will not do that. Uh, that's a lot of swords. All promoted City Raider. So, um... It would be nice, yeah, we want to try and, uh, we're going to have a big fight against these guys. I assume that they will move on this tile. If they move here, it will be a little bit more tricky, but. Anyway, so, let's get our axes down here towards the city. Actually, we can sit on this tile, and that'll make it so they can't move on to that tile. We'll continue to control this spot. Fortunately, I have a lot of axes as well. Let's see, do I have any other unused promotions? Yes. Well, that's probably okay. They uh, they cannot actually... Well, actually, they could... Yeah, they can actually move straight to Delhi and attack it. Oh, I gotta keep that in mind. That they could just move directly on Delhi and attack it. Okay. Because Delhi has not popped borders yet. Okay, so that means I gotta watch for them just straight up attacking Delhi. They do not have any chariots in this force, though. So if they attack this force in the woods... They're gonna have to suffer. They're gonna suffer pretty high losses if they attack this force in the woods. Okay. Well, let's grab Timo and have him scout. Do we spot anything over here? No, we don't. Oh, I'm kind of curious. What were the odds in that last battle? Forty-three percent, and they won. Oh, I see. My spear was pretty red lined. Okay. Still sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see, so, keep moving these guys down, heal this guy, let's see, what do we have here, this guy is injured, really good unit, just injured. Get him up to the front lines where he can heal. And we're going to kill this guy. In revenge for him killing our spear. And then we should be able to kill this guy, too. Well, the odds are not great. Um, but we've got a chance to retreat. We'll go for it. And we won without even taking a scratch, interestingly enough. Okay. So there's nothing, like, right here that's ready to attack, and that's good to know. Chop. 
Oops, I could have gotten some work done that turn. Keep moving these guys up. And moving up my catapult as well. Heal. Chop. Fortify. Heal. Wow, this is a highly promoted spear. Chop. <laughs> Make sure that we finish machinery. Okay. Um, let's see. Did I want to whip this? No, I can't. What are tiles? Is this city working? Good, just commerce. What I expected. This city is unhappy. No surprise there. Every city's unhappy. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this is the latest force. If we can deal with this one. Uh, I'm just in that vulnerable period before Delhi pops its borders. Once Delhi's borders are popped, it will get a lot easier to deal with this situation. And I was not expecting them to do that, but okay. Interesting, interesting decision. Alright, so now we can build maces, and that is nice. Maces will get huge odds on pretty much anything. Okay, now we need to grab calendar so we can hook up that spices which we now we finally have a happiness resource. Okay, so they've all moved here. And like I said, that's a very odd place to move. Um, but we probably, we've probably got enough axes to deal with this because their force is very heavy on swords, even with the bonus from being on the hill. Um, yeah, they only have, well, they have three axes. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to, basically, it's like, do I want to fight them here, or do I want to try to fight them, I, I probably really do want to fight them on level ground, if at all possible. Um, and they only move one tile, okay, so I don't think, I, actually, I don't think I do want to pick this fight, not while they're on a hill. You know, I can throw everything into Delhi, and if they continue moving forward, then I can just shadow them and, you know, move behind them. They can move on to this tile next turn, though, is the thing. Oof, I really wish I could, uh... I really wish that there was a way to... Alright, let's cancel this. What we need to do is we need to clear this tile. There we go. Okay, so we've gotten rid of that. Even if we lose the workers, which of course I do not want, but even if we would lose the workers here... Um, we need to make it so they can't move next to Bombay and also take the city. So, um, I think I'm going to leave the workers, can I leave the workers there as baits, perhaps? But if I do that, then I can't attack with the units in this. No, after saying all that. So the problem is, if these guys move up next to Bombay, then any unit that's in Delhi cannot hit that stack. Because see how it's three tiles? three tiles to move next to Bombay. So that is actually very problematic, and it means I probably need to hit these guys. What I wouldn't give for one catapult here to attack this stack and just do collateral damage, that would increase the odds on like all these units. Anyway, though, we don't have that, and we do get 72% odds, so we're just going to have to go and, um, you know, do our best to clear the... Once we clear the axes, the stack will be pretty easy to kill, but it's going to be very bloody clearing those axes. So nothing else to do but send them in. 72% odds and hope to get lucky. Okay, so far so good. I hate having to take odds as low as 70%. But uh, that was the deal. And that guy actually is going to have combat 4 now, which is really cool. Okay, so we've got another axe that's equally well promoted. Same odds, 72%. Just cross our fingers and hope. Nope, not that time. And we actually barely scratched that axe, which is very unfortunate. This guy only gets 50%. These guys all get 50%. This guy gets 67%. Best I can do. And we lost this one, too. So, when you got to cross your fingers and hope to get lucky, sometimes it's not going to happen for you. 
good news is I will... All right, so now the odds jump way, way up to 88%. All right, if that's all we lose, it's not too too bad. And, and uh, 76%. So they've got one... one uh, no, actually, there's two swords there that are combat one. I think we lost this one, too. Yeah, so this is like the first turn I can remember where we just have not had much... Like, we just have not gotten dice rolls to go our way. And it's because I've been forced to fighting these guys into a bad situation. Oh, we lost this one, too. Wow! What a bad turn! Oh, I've had odds on every one of these fights. Wow! Yikes! A bad run of combat luck. Ooh. Ooh, what a... Ugh, a bad, bad time for that to hit. Yikes. So, that's what happens when you have to take these 70% odds, is sometimes it does not go your way. And, uh, yeah, we're in a, we're actually in a lot of trouble right now. I needed some more of those to go my way. Uh, imagine, like, I lost four times at over 70% odds, and, and that's gonna happen sometimes, but look at what happened. I could easily have, like, four more of those units dead, and, like, four of my units still alive. Instead... Um, yeah, we're in, uh, quite a pickle right now, because we needed more of those units to win, um, and they just did not. And now all, most of the units in this city are very low. Um, yeah, I have a sizable chance of losing this city for that very reason. Uh, and it's just because they forked these two cities, unfortunately, um, in that brief period where... I was vulnerable before the borders popped, so I have just had a whole bunch of my army slaughtered. Oh, that is not good. That is very much not good. Uh, I, I I needed the luck to I need you know I've needed the luck to be on my side, and I just did not get it there at all. And I do not have an easy answer for what to do to respond to that. If I'm lucky, they'll move up here and hit kill the workers and buy me time to react. If I'm not lucky, then I probably have lost that city. Uh, see, the thing is, when you're so enormously outnumbered, you have to um, trade really well all the time. And that was a trade that did not go well. Like that, I, I can't trade unit for unit like that. Um, like, I didn't even come out ahead in that trade. Um... So yeah, that's all it can take is one bad run of combat luck, and you can be in a very, very tough position, which is what we're looking at. We'll throw Timo down here and hope that he doesn't have to defend, but uh, this, this is looking a bit grim, in all honesty. Try to get some units over there. If I had enough gold, I'd upgrade some of these guys to maces, but I don't have the gold, unfortunately. Why can't I teleport you guys over to the other side of the map? Alright, well, I've got to find out what the AI chooses to do. Okay. They chose to move forward for some reason. Oh my god, there's another stack moving up. Why are there so many units? <laughs> uh, that did not go as badly as I was expecting, though. It could have been a lot worse. They didn't take the city of Delhi when they almost certainly could have. They instead moved up and killed my units uh, at Bomb. They instead moved up and killed the workers at Bombay. So basically, I held on to Delhi at the cost of losing two workers. But they did what I thought they would, which was to move onto this tile. Um, they just did a really nice job of forking my cities. And now here comes another huge force. Another stack of like eight units. And I am in, oh my god, what am I going to do mode right now? Um, what we have to hope is that they attack the city of Bombay. And that they, uh, and of course the missionary fails to spread too. Uh, <laughs> we got to hope that they just attack and fail to take the city. But yikes, I do not have much in this city at all. Um, and I don't have a lot of units over here. 
capable of holding it either. Yikes. So losing all those axes was just disastrous. <laughs> needed, needed some more of them to win, unfortunately. And I'm even leaving this area over here to the west dangerously exposed as well. Come on, 50-50. Oh, that was so epic. Why did they make that so dramatic? Why? Why did they taunt me like that? Oh. And why am I attacking out? Well, because most of these swords have city raiders, so I get much better odds attacking out than trying to defend. Ugh, and this guy is like no strength whatsoever. Oof. Got to get some more units up there. The problem is Delhi can be attacked too. Uh, <laughs> we need axes. And now I can't even build axes because it's maces. And I can't whip a mace because it's too expensive. <laughs> Maybe I should have upgraded that axe to a mace instead of attacking out. I don't know. Yeah, I can move, like, I can move a spear up here, but spears are not going to get very good odds against all those swords. Um, and there's not exactly a lot of reinforcements sitting here back behind these guys. Ugh, why couldn't I have gotten a couple more turns here? What is actually defending in here? Not much of anything right now. Yikes, these guys need time to heal. And I don't have enough gold to upgrade to a mace either. Heal. You guys need to heal desperately. Well, I can move this guy up here. That at least gives me some chance of defending there. And I can move Teemo up there just to be a warm body in the city. Yeah, the mace, I can't actually build a mace. It's too expensive. With the walls. So at least I'll have walls in there. Well, at least over here is quiet, thank God. <laughs> Do I actually have war weariness? Yes. And on top of everything else, I now have war weariness to deal with as well. Making my unhappiness situation even worse than it was before. <laughs> Man, this is a tough game. What a tough, tough game. I'll whip that next turn. What am I looking at here? Well, I'll finish the courthouse and whip a mace, probably. We actually do need a spear there. Here I said I was going to whip a worker. Well, I already let it go too long, unfortunately. And I do need that worker. I guess we'll whip the mace next turn then. This city I want to whip the forge. It doesn't have quite enough yet to do the forge. And this, I can probably get a cottage somewhere for that city. Yes. No wait, no. Can't reach that tile. Can't reach that tile either. Okay. Yeah, I just can't reach a cottage, unfortunately. <laughs> well, we'll have that courthouse done. Uh, the lack of happiness is absolutely killing me. I don't think I can't recall a game where I've been 160 turns in and not even one happiness resource. Uh, granted, we will have calendar soonish, but very, very difficult. Okay, throw down a cottage there then. Okay, now you guys can finally improve that tile. Um. chop that for Bombay. And um, yeah, I don't want to stop playing until I can hand off in a better situation. Oh, praise Jesus. The Bowman actually won. That melee bonus actually did something. The walls completed just in time. Okay, we're probably losing this one. Nope. 
Wow. The chariot does not get a defense bonus. Wow, oh my god. We actually won that? I can't believe it. <laughs> oh boy, here comes more units. And some units over in that direction as well. Alright, well we finished the forge. Um, yeah, we're pretty much working all the tiles I want here. Now I'll mark it so we can increase the gold. Courthouse. Yeah, I mean, economically, we're actually doing quite well considering no happiness resources. So we finished the walls. The walls completed just in time in that city. Thank goodness. Uh, what else do we need? We're going to need a granary at some point. Okay, so this city is temporarily okay. Now we got to deal with this city. <laughs> here comes all those Dutch units. Uh, what we're going to want here is we're going to want walls. City walls. And we're not going to be able to attack out. we got to hope that the AI it does the stupid thing that they just did. There's going to be ooh, three pop. Well, we need it. Otherwise, we're not going to have any pop because we're not gonna, the city's not going to survive otherwise. And we did get another great general. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Wait, where is... Ah, I'm on a different unit. Ah, I'm on a totally different unit. Okay, well, I think that despite everything, we have a shot to hold on to this. I'm not attacking out. These units, I'm just going to have to wait and defend in either of these two cities. I'm going to hope that they attack this city. Those spears behind walls on a hill will just shred all those chariots. So these units are mostly healed now. So I want to get my super spear healer up to up here to heal those guys. But if I do that, I take a spear out of this city, which I'm not sure I want to do because I need that. Um... Let's see how long the healing durations are for these kind of guys. Two turns. I guess that means this guy will also be two turns. This will be longer, three turns. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Three turns. Yeah, I can't really afford to pull units out of this city when it looks like it's going to get attacked. Alrighty, so move that guy forward. Keep chopping. There we go. Again, need the borders to expand here. And if we're lucky, they'll attack. If we're unlucky, Timo is actually really helping here by giving me just that medic uh, bonus ability. Okay, so we've got a sword and an immortal coming forward. We'll see, they'll probably just fortify in that uh, that little area there. As long as they stay in the background, I'm not too worried about them. Alright, here's our great general. Let's build a let's build something cheap like a bowman. And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this guy here. I'm gonna attach him to this um, warrior because I get a free auto upgrade if I do that. So I'll get a free mace out of it. Look at this guy's ramshackle promotions. Okay, so I have three spears sitting behind all those defenses. Uh, the best thing for me is if they attack. The worst thing is if they continue deeper into my territory. That would be the worst thing. Then I've got these guys up here too. These chariots. Yeah, I always have units pushing forward in this direction too. Um, well, I've got the spear coming out here. Let's speed up production of that, shall we? There we go. Three turns. And over here, yeah, I can whip out something here. We'll whip out a mace. Just like here. Yeah, there we go. Mace. There we go. And the mace will be able to deal with uh, chariots as well as other units. This un one I can't whip yet this city. I want another military unit for hereditary rule. 
And yeah, we actually have enough to go on calendar. Nice. As soon as I get calendar, I can hook up this resource. Once it's safe to do so, of course. Please attack. No, they did not attack. Alright, so we've got walls. We also did get uh, clams. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight health resources and zero happy. Kind of silly. Alrighty. Granary, I guess. In this besieged city. Obviously, we're not attacking these guys. Oh, wow, that's a rather large stack. Well, maybe if we're lucky, they'll attack me. Hagia Sophia has been finished. Maybe, or maybe if we're lucky, they'll move there. <sighs> we do have a mace, finally. We can move this guy down in this direction. The worker, I will go back to, but I want to continue growing first. Spear, mace, two-pop whip for the mace. There we go. And finally, build some maces. Give me a unit to uh, fight these guys with. Forge. Say goodbye to your population. We'll get the forge. And we use, then we'll finish the worker, probably. I can't improve that tile. Well, I don't have calendar yet, but I can't improve it anyway. Heal. Watch this. Lead this guy as a warlord. Watch. So we'll lead this warrior as a warlord. Now watch. He can get a free upgrade to a mace, which is really cool. And now we'll be able to move him out elsewhere. Well, once I have a unit to go in this city anyway. So we're about to get a two-pop whip, and we'll two-pop whip another mace, and then overflow into bowman, I guess. Finish the bowman, and then go back and finish the catapult. These guys are safe. We can finish up the cow pasture. There we go. Over here, it's just a matter of waiting and reacting to these guys. Well, I guess we can kill the spear that's separated. That's a pretty easy. It's a pretty easy kill. Gonna be pissed if that guy lost to a uh, catapult. <laughs> um, we do want to move. Is there any unit that can move down here? Two, three, four, five, six. It's only six units here, and that is a lot of units that can attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's a lot of units that can attack here. But um, I don't think I have any units that can move down there, other than the chariot, which is like so close to dead, it wouldn't even matter. I guess I just have to trust these guys that they can hold out. They are on a hill with 50% combat defense bonus. So, again, hopefully these guys attack. We'll see. Can't really end turn until this situation is resolved one way or the other. Okay, and they split the stack, so that's always a good sign. And here comes more units. Calendar. We need engineering next for the road movement. Yeah, uh, I'd love to throw out more cities, but not really happening. Okay, they split the stacks for some reason. Who knows why? And we've got enemy units running around in my back lines. Let's see, we can kill this guy though. Uh, remember, chariots do not get defensive bonuses. A lot of chariots. So. on. There we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use a promotion to heal him. And he does get defensive bonus, so he's on the forest, and that means he's not in danger from any of these chariots. If they attack, that would actually be great. Okay, Mace, come on over. This is probably going to have to be the last turn because this has been going on for quite some time now. Alright, and again, I really want to put a... Uh, pasture or a plantation on that tile but I can't it's not safe god I wish I can get these borders to expand faster I wish I had music so I could just build culture get them to expand that way 
toss down a cottage. Okay, so. Whip the mace. And it'll grow back. Um. Road that. Same thing, sword and immortal. Let's see if we can hit and kill that before the rest of the units arrive. Come on. There we, there we go. Whew. Took a lot of damage, but did get it. Seventy-five. Do I have higher than seventy-five? No. Okay. Come on. Nope. <sighs> Bit unlucky. Ninety percent. Alrighty. Got that guy. Cover him with the spear, of course. And get prepared to heal up. out that last one here. So many unhappy cities. It's just like I'd be working so many more tiles. Okay, well we can clear the spear. Even though he's on forest, that's pretty easy to kill. Um, yeah, these guys I am not going to be able to kill. Too dangerous. Get the spear, first of all. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put most of the units on this tile so that then they can hit that stack if it moves onto the grassland to the north next turn. is a forested tile, right? Yes. So dare them to attack us on the forested tile. Uh, actually, the odds still aren't that good there. Let's move back. Just defend the cities for now. It's too dangerous to try to fight out there. Just defend the city. This guy needs to wait for one more turn, or this city's going to be too unhappy. Move him over there to the west in a minute. Move him into the city. Okay, what else do we have? Is this city okay? Yes. How about this one? Yes. can whip that one soonish if need be. This one... Yeah, it looked pretty good, although there's no reason to grow since it's at the happy cap. Swap that around. This city, ah yes, this city needs to whip its forge. We'll go ahead and do that. Overflow into probably a library. This one, oh yeah, we just whipped this one. We don't want to work her just yet. So we want to want it to grow back to the happiness cap, such as it is. Pick up another cottage. And, yeah, I already looked at the other cities. This one, we're going to need to... Put, oh, we can work that tile. That's better than the alternatives. Yeah. Even though it's not growing, at least it's a better tile. Okay, hopefully we can deal with this stack on this upcoming turn, because I know this has been, like, a really long video, but I do not want to pass off in a situation where, where it's still unresolved. Okay, that was not very smart. I love how it tells me to build a settler. It's like, yeah, I'd love to build a settler, but where am I going to put it? <laughs> uh, it's because the game doesn't understand we're playing Always War, of course. Courthouse. 
any more infrastructure we need here? A market, I guess. Works for now. Forge library. We've got a lot of overflow from that, actually. Okay, so this unit is basically dead. 99.4%. Remember, chariots do not get defensive bonuses, so even though he's on a forested hill, it doesn't matter. Kill that really easily. Alrighty, so these guys moved up, and these guys also moved up. These guys can't really do anything that threatening. I mean, they can try to attack the city, but that's about it. And we actually are finally going to get a border pop there next turn. This guy can attack and kill that chariot, but uh, I think we'll move. That chariot's not doing anything dangerous right now, so we'll just move up and be ready to support that city. Uh, let's see, this is high on chariots, and we do not have much in the way of spears here. So we've got to keep that in mind. This force here I would kill, except that it's on that forest again. And I really want to get rid of that forest, but I have not had the chance to cut, chop it yet. Just as I have not had the chance to pasture this yet. So, I'm just got to chill for right now. Hopefully these guys will throw themselves into this city next turn. If not, I'll start using maces and ch hacking it down with hacking them down with maces. Delhi's gonna grow like a weed. Wait a minute. Uh, work that tile instead. We'll get the granary soon enough. Yeah, so I'm basically like waiting for these guys to attack or do something like that. Um, yeah, I need to. Really want to really need to just clear these forests, but as you can see, I have not had the chance to do so. As soon as these stacks die, I'll be able to. Um, yeah, I need another spear over here because I only have one spear with this particular northern force. We're still healing down there. At least there's like some tiles in the middle of my territory, areas where it's safer. Okay. So this guy can now, I can now promote this guy, plus two movement range. Move up here, we'll just use this guy as the super mace. Yeah, so he's got two movement and very strong. Alrighty, these guys moved up, there's a cat coming behind them. I'm just going to wait for them to move off these forested tiles and we'll go from there. I do have the other healer over here, don't I? Yes. Okay. Yep, so I will just defend to the west or to the east of that row of forests, and we will not try to clear all those, not try to clear out those forests just yet. Chop. Heal. You guys hang out there for now. This force here should be able to defend against those units. You know they only have one spear. There, well, it is a very heavy. Actually, I need a second spear in there. Yeah, I do need one more spear, so take my great general medic and move here. I do need a second spear, just in case I would get a very unlucky combat roll on the first one. And so because of that, we'll move Timo back down here so he can medic uh, the units that are still in this city. So they'll heal up to full. Okay. And this guy's going to move over here to the west, but we need another turn there. This city, no, I I, I've been trying to hold it to just one whip penalty in each city, just because otherwise it gets a little too dangerous. But now that I have maces, I should be able to um, force better trades, because I can now do mace against sword and mace against axe and mace against chariot, and I win those much harder. Okay, they're not attacking, which is fine because it buys me more time to reinforce. Okay, I have no idea where that thing's going. I don't know where those units are going either. Just that I'm not attacking them as long as they're on defensive cover. All right, so we got a catapult. I'll head that, put that over to the west. Um, market, I guess. It's the next thing here. It's not a great commerce city, but get a little bit of commerce in any case. Well, this is convenient. 99% odds. That chariot did not achieve nothing. Well, 
I guess they can move up. I guess the chariots can uh, move up there. Anyway, they pillaged a cottage, but that's not a big deal. And guess what? The borders have finally expanded. Yay! So that gives us much more control over this region. And these guys have moved out of defensive cover as well. So that's good news. Move the mace. 99% odds. I will happily attack at 99%. Yeah, take that. And as I start to get maces, these battles should get a little bit easier because they AI has not shown up with maces just yet. Okay, so now they've got a sword and axe and a whole bunch of chariots in that stack. All right, so the, that that force is pretty neutralized right now. I guess it can pillage the. Um, I guess it can pillage the rice, but whatever. I can always reconnect the rice. That's not a big deal. And Delhi's borders are still in the process of expanding. Meanwhile, though, we probably can kill this force. I think we can kill this force because they're pretty exposed. And their axes, they're on flat ground and their axes are not promoted um, with along the combat line. So let's try to do this, shall we? And we want to attack from this side because we get the superior defensive bonus, 95% odds. There we go. Good job. And then we have another chariot. Once we clear that chariot, will be in even better shape. 90% odds. Come on, don't lose this. Alright, he got it. And, uh, oh, whoops. I thought we had more units than this over here. <laughs> Actually, apparently I moved uh, most of the units out of this stack. Oh, well. I'll have to move some axes down. In... Yeah, I thought I had more units over here. Oh, well. I guess not. So we got a sword and two axes. That's not a big deal. We'll, well, we'll go ahead and get the free kill. 90%. It's close to, I guess it's close to a free kill. Nope, I lost. I guess it wasn't a free kill. Um, sad. But uh, I'm not going to refuse to attack at 90%. Anyway, so we increasingly are going to replace those axes with maces. Like, this city can whip a mace very very shortly, in like a turn or so. Alrighty, this city is at the happy cap, doing what it can. This city is at the happy cap, so let's go back to that worker now. We got another mace over here. There we go. Defend here. This city can whip something soonish. Probably whip a mace again. And just shift them down here. And I honestly have no idea where these units are going. <laughs> like, not even the faintest clue where they're going. Okay, you hang out there. Hang out here. We're going to need to kill these guys soonish. And let's get the chariot down here, just in case something would happen, because this city's more exposed. All right, hang out there. Workers, let's see, oh, there's still all those chariots here, so the workers can't really do that much until those chariots are dead. I hate wasting worker turns like that, but... Anyway, so we move forward. And keep healing up. And we've got maces incoming. Okay, let's see if these guys attack. I don't think that they will, but let's just see if they will. Nope, they moved to pillage again. Yet again. And they move next to the city there. And these guys, I guess, are moving towards Nipper, but in order to do anything, they have to come down out of the forest. Anyway, there's a marketplace. And we've now got most of the infrastructure done in the capital, and we can start to use it for units shortly thereafter. enough for engineering six turns maybe one more turn so they pillage the rice farm as they continue to walk around the capital or walk around the city without actually attacking it alrighty I think it's time to clear this stack shall we what odds we get 83 I'm not sure I want to risk a mace at 83 but 90% I will always take There goes one, one chariot, four more chariots and axes left. 
or 79%, well, we let that mace heal and then go again next turn, I guess. Yeah, I'll have a full strength mace and then those. And this mace can maybe get in the action too next turn. Yeah, so we'll try to kill that stack next turn, I think. All right, we'll let that finish the temple because we really need that Confucian temple to finish. It'll just help solve the happiness issues. Uh, again, I have no clue where these units are going. <laughs> Not even the faintest clue. But I guess they're heading up in that direction. Whatever. Uh, go ahead and work that tile. Oops, what was that? This city is not going to be happy. Uh, why don't we do that then? Down here we have to defend inside the city. And we're actually a little low on units down here. Mm. My goodness. Those are mostly swords. I have one axe and a bunch of spears. Yeah, that's not actually the best uh, force in here. We better do this just to make sure that the city is safe. Upgrade to that unit to a mace just to be safe. Yeah, I'm going to need a pipeline of more units coming down here. More maces. Maces are by far the best unit I can build right now. Okay, let's see. All right, so no mounted unit. Okay, so I can move to these tiles and improve them. Yeah. Get these units out of them. Get this out of the way. Keep moving up this chair, this catapult. How's this unit city look? This city also needs a while on its whip penalty. This needs a while. This one, I think, needs some time. Akkad, I think I recently whipped. This city, oh, this city can produce me a mace. That's good. And this city is about halfway through its penalty. Okay. I would love it if these guys would just throw themselves in Delhi. At Delhi and commit suicide. Oh. Oh, well. They finally chose to attack. Okay. Well, they should lose. Oh, my God. What were the odds on him winning that? I'm in a city with walls. 50% defensive bonus. Okay. I am very surprised that they chose to attack here, but that makes things easier on me. Now I don't have to attack them. This is my great, uh, great, great general medic here. I actually managed to get a retreat. Wow, they're getting a lot of retreats here. <laughs> they have like no odds to win these battles. I can't believe that they got that lucky. Okay, so they moved up. And they continue to move towards Nipper. That's fine, though. They're going to have to come out of that defensive cover at some point. And this unit can whip. This city can whip a mace, right? Yeah. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, so let's clean this up and then finally stop recording. This is like a two-hour video. But, I, like, I had to uh, had to deal with... I, I could not stop playing in the midst of such a tight attack. Okay, so that sword should not have won his combat. Still, that's the only unit I actually lost. And let's see, we got one, two, three. We got two withdrawals. So we're going to go like seven for one here, which is pretty solid. But anyway, these units are all red lines, so anything can kill them. Let's clean that. Let's clean up. Um, I guess I can't technically clean up this forest yet. But we can work towards getting this plantation finished finally. 97%. Still don't really want to do that, though. Let's wait until he comes out of the defensive terrain. Yeah, let's clean up clean up this force with... what can I? Where can I get more experience on units? Um, I'd like to save the mace to move him down to the south. So I can use him there. So let's try to grab use some of these axes. Like, this guy can get another promotion at 99% odds. Take that. 
And let's see, what do we have? Chariots that are super duper low. Oh, this guy can get another promotion. Excellent. Boom, down he goes. And let's see, do I have a chariot to kill this guy and then move again? Nope. Oh well. We'll just use another unit. Um, I've got a few more spears than I need right here, so... Well, actually what I can do is I can use the Great General Spear and he can move back into Bombay. There we go. And then he can move back into the city because he's a two mover. Excellent. Okay. Alright, so we managed to clean up that uh, particular little group of forces what we're looking to do and we'll kill these guys when they come out of terrain but this video has run for much 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 too long way too long so what we're going to do is we're going to stop playing here we'll deal with this force next time we will stop here and we will pick this up at a later date anyway thanks for watching thanks for listening until next time see you guys again soon take care